Hey Libra, it's me Alex and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see what the universe has for you. Libra. Emotional confusion. You got your cousin and your brother here with Aquarius and uh, Gemini. I'm, I'm hearing you're trying to figure out what it is that you're, you're wanting to do. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you could be serial dating or have a lot of dating options and are trying to basically figure out who's the best match for you. I feel like a lot of you guys desire uh, for some sort of long-term committed situation. Um, but I feel like you're wandering aimlessly through your dating life looking for something but not necessarily knowing what exactly that is or um i feel like okay what i just heard was i'll know it when i see it or i'll let the universe bring it to me right because that temperance card it, it it says so much to me first off it's like okay i'll do my part and i'll let the universe do uh do its part that's first the second thing is you're so emotionally depleted and scattered that it's almost like your heart chakra is not at full capacity because you've been spreading yourself thin emotionally, especially when it comes to the direction you're headed in. I mean, the sitting right here, right? As in, you're just kind of wandering around, running through person after person, and it's like, okay. After a while, you know, I can hear you saying, yeah, I'll, I'll know it when I see it. But after a while, after that fifth or sixth date, you may not, you may not even remember what you, what you were looking for, um, just because of all of the different experiences. So I, I do kind of feel like, especially with that King of Swords there, universe is saying to you, Libra, get a little bit more serious when it comes to what and who you want. And if that's not confirmation, I don't know what is. Because we go from the Seven of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Not knowing to knowing. And you guys are ruled by Venus. So yeah, you're natural, naturally romantic and loving and nurturing and flowery and things of that nature. So yeah, it kind of does make sense that you guys may consider a water sign. Even though you guys are air. Yeah, there it is. Three of Wands with the Temperance card. You guys are just, you're just kind of out there looking, hoping that to an extent it'll sit in your lap, but that's not how the universe works. This says to me, you guys, to an extent, sometimes can overdo it, right? Um, it's almost like you know exactly what it is that you want, but you're not getting exactly what it is that you want or need. You may be getting watered down versions and you may be very, very, very rigid, which makes sense to me why you would keep looking. It's like close, but no. Close, almost, but no, right? So there's this ongoing, never ending process of searching and looking and um, trying to figure out who and who that perfect person is to the point where, you know, especially with the Three of Wands. It's almost like you've thrown a monkey wrench in your own process. So you started out wanting a Corvette and then you met a Miata and then you met um, a Z3 <coughs> and then you met someone else. <coughs> and in the end, you no longer want a Corvette. You now want another sports car. You know what I mean? So it's almost like you started out knowing exactly what you wanted but you, or you started out knowing exactly what you wanted and you ended up more confused than when you originally, than you originally thought you would. And again, I feel like it's because you have a lot of almost, it's almost like you're looking for that perfect person. And I don't believe in perfect people because you know, they don't exist. I do believe, however, there's a perfect person for you, but I feel like the person, perfect person for you they have to materialize over time. 
you're not going to meet this person in their full-on package. I hope that makes sense. <clears throat> that stability in relationships and family, you're starting to give up hope. For a lot of you guys, yeah, it makes sense. I mean, you got the three of wands and the temperance card here. I just kind of feel like that kind of says lax, right? That kind of says, you know what? I've been doing this too long. I'm about to give up. There are a lot of great um, almost out there, but I need my one. And not only that, but you have Aquarius here and Cancer there. So yeah, you represented here with the air signs and then also your perfect person. The perfect love you're looking for is probably a Cancer. Could be Pisces or Scorpio, by the way. And possibly if that's not their sun sign, they could have Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio in their moon or Venus signs. Okay, so yeah, this is you kind of again getting frustrated because it's almost like after time, after time, after time, after time, it just kind of feels like you're you're not getting any closer to your goal. You're wondering, yeah, if you should kind of quote unquote scrap, scrap everybody and start anew. You know what it is that you're looking for. But again, I think there's a high level of rigidity here. It's almost like it's knocking you right. It's, it's almost like you get close and boop, you get knocked away. And again, it's that rigidity because again, the universe may be sending you great options, great almost, but they're not what you want. So you're rejecting great, amazing candidates. You have Cancer, Aquarius, again, Gemini and Virgo. You have Aquarius here, you have Capricorn there and you have Sagittarius there. So we have everybody represented, all all um, all elements, all signs represented here. Where's Earth with Capricorn? Okay, not a lot of Earth presence, and yeah, that also kind of implies too why um, you're having such a strong time, such a hard time picking and choosing this person because here with the Seven of Cups. You know, that seven of cups represents illusions, like whatever it is you think you want or whatever it is you think you need. And the universe is like, well, we know we just hope that when we send it to you again, you don't reject it because you're being too rigid. Listen to the universe, baby. Meditation brings answers. Uh, that meditation feels to me like, yeah, the universe whispering in your ear, let go of the rigidity. I was going to say stop being rigid, rigid, but let go came out. Remain positive. Get back in the game, right? Get back in the game. Get the, uh, start, start trying it again. And move closer to your goal by trusting the universe is what I'm hearing. These are my Rebel deck. I just got these cards, so I apologize because they're a little bit, uh, they're very honest. Stop sleeping so damn much. Wake up. You're missing some cool shit. Yeah, they, that's the rigidity, right? It's, it's almost like you're sleeping in your desires. You're only focusing on what you think you want. <laughs> these cards are so fucked up. Move the fuck on. It's time to let go. Yeah. Is this so crazy? But I know you, Libra. You guys are the kings and queen analyzers of the tarot, uh, excuse me, of the zodiac. So I know you guys are analyzing your person and overthinking and thinking again. And it's just like, relax. No one wants to listen to that shit. Complaining makes you weak. You have the strength to change the world. So do it. Stop fucking whining. Oh my God. Oh my God, these cards are so blatantly. Shut your mouth and listen. Boy, are you being hard-headed? Stop talking, stop thinking. Wow. Yeah, these are basically saying, um, you are so much relying on what you want, what you need, what's best for you. You ever stop to wonder what's best also for the person that you're dealing with, as in, what are they getting or who are they getting or are you their person just as much as you want them to be your person, right? So just a little food for thought there, uh, Libra. Anyway, I hope this reading helps if it resonates, um, if it gave, it gave you some food for thought. 
Uh, like, subscribe, share, comment, uh, and thank you so much, Libra. Bye.